All right, guys, let's go ahead and start with our vegan chocolate cake. So we're gonna go ahead and add our, our, our flour, of course. That's the most important thing. We're gonna have our sugar, our cocoa powder, our baking soda, our baking powder, and of course our salt. Uh, just remember that we wanna start with our dry ingredients first, and then we can go ahead and start our wet ingredients. So with our dry ingredients, mix it really well um, until it's very incorporated and have all the ingredients mixed together. And once we have finished that, then we're gonna go ahead and do our liquids. Um, so we're gonna get a, another bowl and we're just gonna add our water, of course our almond milk or any type of uh, milk that you like, um, our apple cider vinegar, and our vanilla extract. So as before, go ahead and just give it a whirl or if you wanna say swirl it up, <laughs> let's go ahead and do that and take that away. We're going to go ahead and just get back into our dry ingredients and remember, um, you want to use a hand mixer, not a whisk. Because the only reason why I'm saying it's a hand mixer, when I did it with a whisk, it was just clumpy, you don't want that, and then I had to like pull out my hand mixer. So just make sure that you are using a electronic hand mixer. Um, and then you can go ahead and just mix it all the way up uh, to, until you get a very creamy texture as you can see here. Once you have a very nice and creamy texture as what we are doing here, we're stopping this and you don't want to overbeat your mixer because, or I'm sorry, your batter because then it's just going to be a hot mess. It's going to be uh, very dense like and you really don't want that and it's just completely dried out. So grab your rubber spatula, mix it really well um, in the ingredients that was left over and just do that. So once we're done with everything, get your two pans that you're gonna be using and line it up with parchment paper. Fill your pans three quarters of the way. Do not overfill because once they are baked, they will definitely go over your cake and it's just gonna be a hot mess in your oven. Once you have that, go ahead and just tap a few times to get the air bubbles out and set your oven for 325 degrees for at least 25 minutes or until your cakes look just like this, nice and soft. And in the middle, it's completely clean. So as before with other videos, I like to get my wax paper and I don't like to tort uh, the cakes I just like to have my cake very like evened out so I just get my uh, a cake dummy or something that is the size of my cake pan and I just press down gently and to the point where it's just gonna be completely flat and once I already have that then I just let it cool for at least 10 minutes and I turn my cakes over and BAM there you go <laughs> you have flat cake and this is just the way I like it and that is it so remember if you like our videos go ahead and hit the subscribe button and until next time guys bye